So let me give you a quick overview of how I set up my X tool and how I was able to cut my first project. Attaching a vent is easy. You're just going to set it into place and then it has hand twist screws to secure it down. So don't let that intimidate you. You've got this, just secure all four screws in the corner. Then you are going to slide the vent over that casing that you just um, attached and use the holder to hold it on tight. That's it. Then you're gonna plug in the power source and that's in the back. It's just one plug and then you will flip the machine on. Now that doesn't mean it cuts right away, it just means it's on and ready to receive a cut file. So if you look in the front, you'll know it's not on because the button's not lit up and then it is lit up when it's on. When it's ready to cut something, it will be flashing and that's the button you hit to make it go. If you're gonna cut a piece of um, balsa wood, you're going to, or cut through a project, you're going to want to use the triangle prisms and that way it creates some airflow under that piece of wood. So you just line those up inside of the X-Tool M1. Put your wood inside and you can see that laser shooting down on it and you'll actually see the piece of wood in your cutting software. Hit go and it will start to cut out the design that you set on that piece of wood using your software. And so I just tried a very easy two-layered B cut out, so it's gonna cut out the back layer and then the overlay layer. You can look through the glass to see it cut. When it's done, you can lift up that protective glass and remove your project so you can see how it cuts so precise. I was really impressed with the cutting um, lines on this project. And you can knock those pieces out of your wood and then from that point, you can go ahead and paint the pieces to complete your project. And so I was able to paint them to add a little bit more dimension. And then I just used wood glue to layer the one piece on top of the other to kind of finalize the project that I was putting together. And after it was all dry, here is how it turned out. Just so cute and possibilities are endless on what you could cut. I feel like the first project's always the most intimidating one since it's something that you haven't done before. But now that I have conquered that, I'm ready to really dive in and show you different things and different takeaways that I have with this machine. I'm Mandy with Sherry Crafts, and so stay tuned for more amazing projects coming with the X-Tool machine.